Sup nerds, I'm Wes with Everboard Gaming and I want to talk to you about this custom foam core insert for above and below made by Insert Here. Alright, let's get on into this box. So you've got your rule book on top, your player boards, the Kickstarter storybook, and the regular storybook. Now before I get too far into this, I do want to say that I do have all of the Kickstarter stuff for this game. Well, I have all the stuff you can back extra. I think there's like special resources you can get, but I do have some extra stuff for this game that this insert wasn't designed for. So let's keep that in mind as we're looking at this. So first off, these resource trays. There is a slot for every single resource. These resources are doubled up and these are the Kickstarter cave expansions. I don't remember what they're called. Um, the Underforest and Desert Labyrinth Encounters. So, again, typically these clay pots would be in this tray and every single resource would have its own spot. The same for this resource tray. Typically, there's pairs here and then your little gems here, but this is stuff from the extras. So, you know, keep that in mind. You've got more resource trays, keeping your barrels and your little jars separated out. All of your money is divided into denominations to keep that really easy to keep track of. Over here, I've upgraded my dice to double these sixes, but they fit just as well as any other dice. And you have your little score cubes as well as your nighttime token. You've got all of your drawable characters here as well as all of your starting characters. Again, this tray would be a little bit more organized if you didn't have the Kickstarter stuff, but I honestly think that it's still keeping track of things pretty, pretty well. And then down here, you've got your card tray, and you can see I do have all of my cards sleeved, and they fit great. Now, these are all nice. The decks are already separated out, so you can just pull it out, and you're ready to go. This last tray is where you've got a little bit of issue going on, and I say a little bit because it's really not the end of the world, especially if you just have base games. You've got your little first player card, you've got your starting bed buildings, you've got your star buildings, you've got your key buildings. So with base game, a couple things are mixed together in that tray, but again, you're gonna set pull those out anyway, so it's not the end of the world. I do have the Above and Below Groves expansion in here as well. You should definitely pick that up. I'll put a purchase link to it down below. But while this isn't completely organized, you can see it still all fits. And I think that is the thing that would have made this a deal breaker for me is if getting this insert wouldn't fit everything in it. Because what good is an insert if it doesn't all fit, especially the Kickstarter stuff, which doesn't have a box to it. It's just like loose. So you definitely need it all to fit. Now I do have foam core. I've made a few foam core inserts myself. So for me, some of these trays having two different resources in it. So like this tray right here, it's got the pairs and the gems. It's going to take me like less than 30 seconds to cut a little piece of foam core that goes right there and glue it in place. And now everything's back divided up again. It's the same with these, with the rocks and the clay pots. Again, like literally in less than five minutes, I'll have this whole insert all modded out for myself and ready to go. So that's really not a complaint for me at all that it doesn't fit the Kickstarter stuff because if you don't have the Kickstarter stuff, and especially if you're somewhere where you can't get a hold of it, then that might bug you that there's all these extra slots in your insert taking up space that are just gonna be forever empty for you. The only real complaint that I have about this insert is that if you are someone who stores your game vertically, then this insert is gonna be awful for you. Because as you can see, none of these rule books or storybooks or anything, really, I should put these on later. Like, if you put these like that, they technically cover the top, but the second you like turn it around, that could slide down and now all of these resources are spilling out. So this insert is great for dividing your game. It's gonna help you set up and tear down a lot faster. But if you are someone who stores the game vertically, I really don't think this insert is for you, which is why you should store your games horizontally like a sane person.
Well, there you have it. That is the storage solution from insert here for above and below. If you're interested in picking this insert up, I will have a link to it in the description box down below. Make sure you check that out, get yourself a copy, and then your game will be organized. Regardless, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored.